In this video, I will show you how to make a project in AVR Studio or Atmel Studio and how to link that project with a simulation running in the Proteus software. So let's start with the Atmel Studio. I have Atmel Studio 7.0 version. In this Atmel Studio, uh, you can uh, click this new project or you can go to this file menu and open this new project. Here is the location of the uh, project where your um, project will be stored and this is the name of the project so it's, uh, my project name is ex3 and here is the type of the project my project will be a gcc executable project and it will be for avr 8-bit um, microcontrollers and i will click ok this menu will ask me the type of microcontroller I will be using. So I will select the 80 mega 32, 80 mega 32 microcontroller from this menu. And I will click OK. Now this will create a template for me, uh, for my project. I will delete this template. I have my own code, example code. I will put that code here and Okay, this is the code I have saved the code and now you can click on this build and you can build this solution here it says uh, that the build one the solution is uh, successful here it says build succeeded and it has uh, no warning or no errors now you can go to Proteus software I have Proteus Designs with uh, version 7 and you can uh, make a new project and this will be the uh, name of the project and location of the project next 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 finish the project and you can add schematic to this uh, project right okay so here, uh, from here, uh, I can select on the component mode and then I can select on this. And from here, I can search for 80 mega 32. This is the microcontroller. I have double clicked it. So this has appeared on, on my panel. And from here, I will also select the LED. I will select this LED. Okay. And now, I will place this um, AVR 80 mega 32 and then this LED. I will connect this LED with port B with, because in the example I am using port B. And now my circuit is ready. I can save this circuit and then I have to double click this microcontroller IC uh, just to load the, uh, load the code which is created by this Atma Studio. So I will uh, click on this program file. This program file is stored on in this directory. I will go to this directly. This is my uh, project directory. Uh, EX3 is the name of my project that which is created by AVR Studio or Atma Studio. So I will open this EX3 and here we can find a debug folder. And in this debug folder, we have ex3.hex file. Now this hex file will be loaded in this microcontroller. In this microcontroller, now we have loaded the hex file which is generated by the Atmos Studio. And I will run this and my code which I have created in this uh, software, the Atmos Studio, now it's that, that code is running in this simulation in the process in this microcontroller. 